We are looking at Shards of Infinity, and we are offering you our insights and thoughts into this great deck building game. Join us here on Legendary Tactics. All right, and uh, we are underway, and we're just going to play a nice relaxing game of Shards of Infinity while we uh, share our thoughts on the game and give you a, a bit of a review. I think we've, we've both played a fair amount of this game by now <laughs> to give a yeah, yeah. pretty we both... good amount of insight. Can 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 speak speak to this game a little bit anyway. So, I find that we we uh, reviewed earlier a game called uh, Star Realms, which is in the sim a similar deck building game uh, genre or vein. But uh, yes. I, I feel like Shards of Infinity has a lot more to offer. To be honest with you. Yeah, it's interesting that you say so because I kind of actually feel the opposite. I, although that said, I do really enjoy this. Uh, I do really enjoy this game, and I feel um, that it. Um, that it, it it has a lot of the same things that I love about Star Realms. Um, I love the you know the ability to build different decks and try out different you know things and so forth. But um, but I I don't know I I mean, I'm curious. So what what do you like better about this over Star Realms? I love the fact that they added in some extra nuance to the game, like the fast play options. Yes, yes. that's a, that's a really really neat thing. I love that they um, they added in the. Um, you, you gain experience points there and so as you yes, as, as the you mastery the mastery levels as you master up yeah. you get uh, bonuses yep. for that i just find there's a lot more potential synergy between the cards so i think yeah, those see, are that's interesting because i what i find with with this uh game as opposed to star realms star realms definitely has a uh a strong kind of suit based deck building thing where you know, you can you can buy one of each kind. Like you can, you know, buy one of the machine cult, one of the blob. You know, but that's just gonna make it make your your um, your options worse um, because um, it's the problem is that um, you know with with the with Star Realms, I find the synergies are much more within the suit. So if you if you get a yellow card, it's gonna work a lot better. Um, with other yellow cards in general. Yep. Right. Yeah. And so yep, yep. You, you know you're you're going to. Um, uh, let's take that. I'm a little surprised um, you didn't take. A so the, but with Star Realms or with uh, Shards of Infinity, I feel like the the synergies are less. They're still there, but it's a little more open in the sense that you know I find myself you know buying cards that are like for example look at the fungal hermit for example it is a green card yep but there's nothing in its abilities that has anything to do with green well healing healing if once you hit no 10. i know but no but i mean you don't need to play there's no bonus if you play other uh oh other yeah yeah cards. yeah that's true but if you look at, at primus pilus here you exhaust if you have three or more homo deus champions in play draw two cards so that is much more to my mind a more like a star realms type card right and, right you know see here I, i'm like yeah you know what i can this buying this reactor drone even though i have no other homo Deus cards in hand makes sense for me oh no because you because, look at you look at the, what the ability is right yeah uh, yeah that, like, that's yeah but it, but it's it's less tied to the suit is kind of my point like the yes the green um you know the the, the undergrowth cards tend to heal you the uh, the wraiths tend to be offense. The the homodeus tend to be economic, um, and uh, the um, order tend to be more about mastery. Like there's a little they skew that way, but um, and there probably is you know a synergy in the sense of you know you want to pick a strategy and run with it and have your cards kind of you know. <laughs> Uh, you know, come work together in yeah, some way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, have, um, have synergy between them. Yeah. Yeah, because if you look at like Undergrowth Aspirant, you know, gain five at, uh, attack if you've played another Undergrowth Ally this turn, or reveal one from your hand. So that requires other cards in in your deck. So you build yeah. synergies that way. But There's then a you lot have the of Spore under yeah. where it doesn't matter. You know, and I yeah. don't know if that's a strong point or a weak point. It's just different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Because, yeah, but like Star Realms is always about if you've played another yellow card this turn, if you've played another red card or whatever. Um, in my experience, that tends to be how it, uh, how it seems how it plays to play out. out. Yeah. 
Um, so, uh, in, you know, in some ways, you know, I find that like, and we've just kind of unearthed this if, uh, just to reference some of our other videos, we've, we played where we basically play one suit against another. Uh, and the, you know, the, the reality is that, you know, there's some suits like the, the order, which can, I, I honestly don't think it can stand on its own, to be honest. Yeah, agreed. It, you know, it's it's really not that uh, powerful uh, on their own. Yeah. And so you can't really, uh, you know, it's you 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 know you can't really uh, build up a deck that really leans towards one color or the other without balancing it out in other ways or whatever. Like it, it's just. You know, it's it's open, but it also feels a little more limited in the sense that, like, you know, you're just you're looking to buy whatever cards are handy, and it doesn't necessarily matter how good or how well they fit in your, you know, overall picture. Um, so anyway, it's just my 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 kind of. Uh, what I love I, what I love more so about this game is that you can play cards from the card row instantly, and you can start to really create uh, combos. And yes. So you yes. can really start to maximize on that that avenue, and that's just kind yes. of a really neat. Um, yes, but I, I also, as I said, I love the differences. Like, I, I, it's not that I, it's 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 like I would rank Star Star Realms slightly better than this, but I still enjoy this one a lot. I don't want to make it sound like I I don't uh, enjoy this one. I love the the things they added, like you, as you said, the mastery and the the fast play, the the mercenaries. Um, you know, and the different, you know, interactions um, are really interesting. Um, and uh, I feel that you, you can win with, um, you know, with kind of any, any combination of factions for the most part. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But you do, um, need, so, you do need to have combos in this game. Bro. Yes. You can't yeah. win. It's very, no. I mean, besides our little challenge aside, you can't generally win with just one particular faction. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're beginning to get the Homodeus champions up and running now, um, which is very powerful. And I've gone with more of a, more of an undergrowth uh, wraith kind of combination here, which um, is the healing combined with the, with the, uh, you know, offense is how it's supposed to work. We'll see if it's actually working that way. I see. I've only got you down to forty six. <laughs> I I love that 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 champion that I just killed off. I love I love that champion. Which one's uh, uh, on my? Yeah, the my one end? that the one that was a five the shield. Zeta the encryptor. Yeah, Zeta, because Zeta yes. went in hands. That is a shield, and then yes. and then when he's actually played, Zeta is also a, a five shield that I have to take out first. That's such a great, great yes, card. Yeah. It's um, and I also like the the balance between you know buying the cards and f improving your mastery with with a focus action. I think that there's there's always that temptation to spend every crystal you have to get everything you possibly can get, you know. But there's a risk, right? <laughs> you know. Yes. Yes. Oh man, you're gonna hit me hard here. This is not good. Um, and and having the infinity shard as a way to to win. Um, it makes the mastery path, you know, something that's workable. You know, it's something that uh, it, it makes it a path that is something that is uh, potentially, you know, doable. I think it's tough. I think it's a, it's a slow road to get to where you need to be. But um, I think overall it's a, it's a you know, a good... Um, overall, I think it's a, you know, a good way to, uh, uh, to have it set up. Oh well, one of the other things I really like about this game over Star Realms is that uh, it involves your discard deck. As, uh, there's, a, there's an interplay with your discard deck. For example, this card here I'm playing, the Shadebound Sentry. I yes. need to, I get to return a Sentry from... A Mercenary. A Mercenary yeah. from my deck. So it actually, yes. it, there's, there's a lot more interplay that way, which is kind of a neat... Uh, yes. Another neat yep. uh, variant on the, uh, on the theme, so... Yeah, yeah, you're definitely setting up to crush me here in this game. You can tell you've played this game a lot more than I have. A little bit, a little bit. I, yeah. have, I have played you a few are times. In control. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And yeah. just talking about those combos there. So you know, having over over ten mastery, I have a thirteen. So I played that. Yep. Uh, Aether Breaker, and boom, there's eight more damage done to you. Yes. And so yep. you can start to 
really. Yeah, and now, and really now I draw two new cards because of my Homo Deus champion. Yeah, I yeah. just drew da uh, Data Heretic, so I do draw two more cards. <laughs> Yeah, so you could actually finish me off this turn, maybe. You can start to really get some kind of combo. Yes. Yeah, here, here's the yeah, Aether Breaker again. In, yeah, you can do the same things in Star Realms as well, um, where you get the, the combinations going, where you just it just kind of keeps rolling. You draw some cards, which give you this, which allow you to draw another card. But yeah, the mastery... Uh, you know, thing is is definitely. It's just uh, a nice. It's an. It's option. sort of a. It's sort of an, an the next level of uh, of challenge, right? Yeah. But that's the that's way I said, look at it. Yeah. My my overall opinion. I can see you're just about ready to pull the. Trigger yes, I am. <laughs> but uh, but my overall opinion is, uh, you know, I think for me, I like Star Realms slightly better. But I interesting. I, as I said, this one is is still fun for me. And I like the changes. It feels, you know, it feels different, but you can pick it up pretty quickly, and have a lot of fun with it as well. So, um, but it's 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 maybe more just my taste. The the artwork, for example, it doesn't. I don't find it as quite as I don't know appealing um, as oh, okay. uh, yeah. as Star Realms. But again, that's more, that's all subjective. And then, I really, I think if if you like Star Realms, you'll 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 like this too. Uh, well, for me, enough, for but, yeah. For me, having played both games a fair bit, uh, I've just noticed that there's a lot more uh, subtlety to this game that I've oh, really enjoyed, and, and just a lot more like just just little little details, like just this combo I just pulled off with you, for example, right? Yes. Gaining yeah. 37, I could never have pulled that off in Star Realm. I mean, I could yeah, have, yeah. I I could have, but um, this this is you know it, it's just very unique to this game where you can get combos going like that with those fast yeah. play cards with drawing from your discard deck with you know just yes uh, having your champions in play so anyway yeah. i, I and think maybe that yeah and, the, and the, having the fast play as an option is really neat yeah yeah, yeah. so that's you can, that's why i, you know, I would you don't rate have to this disrupt one. your deck building in order to take advantage of a champion you know the only thing you have to really discipline you know you you um uh you it has to it costs you of course is your uh, your crystals right so you have to spend the crystals but yes. then but then, you know, you get the, the extra bonus there, so. Yeah, so that's great. So that's basically our, our verdict on uh, on this game, if you want to finish me off here. <laughs> there it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, anyway, that was uh, that was great. You did really well. So that awesome. was fun. It was good. Yeah, so uh, anyway, we, we hope uh, you got some value out of uh, this review. And if you did, you know, please take a moment, uh, like and subscribe down below. Uh, let us know what you think about uh, Shards of Infinity, wh whether you think Star Realms is better or worse, or um, if you haven't... Yeah, we'd uh, love to hear your opinion. It'd be great. If you've played any other games that are similar to, to either one. Oh, let us know. We'd love to explore those ones too. Yeah. So thanks again for watching. I'm Nato. I'm Cax. And this is... Legendary Tactics.